Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Warp 9 install video. Today we're gonna to be installing the all new Warp 9 Fast Ace triple clamps. We got the lowers, the uppers. We have two axles, one for the AHX 12 RV model and the ALX 13 RC model. Comes with two brake adapters, 37 millimeter that would be ran with the 240 millimeter rotor and a 17 millimeter that would be ran with the 220 rotor. We have new wheel bushings to accommodate the wider stance. We got the lock nut for the triple clamp, so it'll be just like a moto fork. On the bottom left fork leg is where you'll determine which axle you will need. We're gonna remove the wheel, so we'll need a 19 millimeter socket to remove the axle. To remove the lower pinch bolts, you'll need a five millimeter Allen key. Next, we're gonna take off the brake caliper, the five millimeter Allen key. Now we're gonna remove the fork legs by loosening these three bolts on each side using a five millimeter Allen key. Now we're gonna remove the direct stem using a five millimeter Allen key. Now we're gonna remove the stem lock. We're gonna loosen the last pinch bolt. Out with the old and with the new. Make sure to grease up the lower bearing. Now we're going to install the new lower. Take the upper, slide it on, take the lock nut, and you don't want to tighten it just yet until all the fork legs are in. I'm just going to go ahead and snug it up just like that. Now we're going to reinstall the light in the handlebar, and we're going to choose the furthest handlebar position. We'll be using the same five millimeter Allen key to tighten all these bolts. Now we're gonna reinstall the fork legs. Make sure all your wires are routed on the inside and not the outside to get caught by branches and stuff like that. And don't forget your bumpers. We're gonna to torque the to top bolt with a 24 millimeter socket to 20 newton meters. Now we're going to torque all the pinch bolts to eight foot pounds using a five millimeter Allen. These lower pinch bolts have to be evenly torqued. Go a little on the top one. Same thing on the other side. We're going to need to install the brake caliper adapter and we're using the 17 millimeter in our case because we have a 220 rotor. Place that there. Take the included bolts don't forget to apply Loctite. Now we're going to take the included wheel spacers. Don't forget to grease them up. I'm gonna mount the caliper on now. Lastly, we're gonna tighten up the wheel using a 19 millimeter socket. Tighten the pinch bolt on one side. Repeat the same process on the other side. 